City of Stone in Zimbabwe is the arduous work of the ancestors of the Shona people that live in Africa between the 11th and 15th centuries AD. The word Zimbabwe is actually a Shoman name that can be translated to Houses of Stone. Fittingly enough, Great Zimbabwe, or the City of Stone, contains stone enclosures with walls as tall as 36 feet. Today, this is very easy to build but people back then didn't have any mortar available. Just like the pyramids found all over the world, the city stone of Zimbabwe yet again proves that we should give more credit to our ancestors. Even still these stone walls led to the debate of historians all over the world. It isn't much known about Great Zimbabwe. Most of the records found about this city date to the 16th century, a period after the whole place was largely abandoned. Although there is one definite fact regarding this place. When European explorers arrived at the site in the early 19th and 20th centuries, they took some artifacts from the ruins of Great Zimbabwe and claimed that the lost city was built not by Africans, but by Phoenicians or other groups from Asia or Europe. In reality, the people of Zimbabwe have been aware of the existence of these ruins since the very beginning and their predecessors were the ones that built this city of stones. Today this place is considered to be a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's considered to be one of the national symbols of the modern-day country of Zimbabwe. In fact, the country embraced this uncovered settlement so much so that the nation was the one that adopted the name Zimbabwe in 1980 and they even included the bird artifact found in the archaeological site in their flag. Despite this fact, much of the site is still unexcavated. Archaeologists have many theories regarding the city of stone. Some say that the folks before building the site on hilltop so that they can perform rainmaking rituals. Regardless, Great Zimbabwe shows how amazing the past tribes of Africa were. Subscribe for more videos like this and turn on the notification to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.